Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at removing some of these strong color casts. This one's quite blue, okay, that's how we remove it, but we're going to use this eyedropper tool here, okay, the white balance selector tool. We'll do it for a few images, so that's after, before, quite a warm image, some magenta in there, removed, okay, and same with this one here, quite a green tinge to it. We're going to use the white balance selector tool, this eyedropper tool here. I'll also briefly introduce one of these color checker cards, the 18% gray to help correct the white balance and get consistency across different photo shoots. All right, let's jump in. All right, to get started, let's bring in some images. It's an 04 uh, color correction, and we're gonna bring in these last uh, 03, 04, 05. And um, now you can use the method that we used in the last video. I'm just gonna mix it up here and show you the way I do it. Remember, I'm on grid view, so G, and then I'm just gonna drag all of these guys in. Cool, I'm going to add all three. And we're gonna start with this one here. Okay, so the woman on the log and double click it or hit D, then click E, okay, or click this option up here. And what we're looking for is under color, there is this eyedropper tool. Okay, so what we can say, you can see there, it's called the white balance selector. Okay, what we can say is actually I, as the human, know what is white in this image, or at least what is neutral. It doesn't have to be white. It has to be uh, the absence of color. Because what it can do is if you tell it what is has no color, okay, it can go, oh, well, if there is color in there, I'll remove it. So if I say this boat I know is white because I'm a clever human, okay, and you can see it's kind of like, uh, you can I can't really point to it, but the big um, zoomed up bit, Okay, if I zoom it up, you can see that there's some strange colors going on in there. So if you click it, it's going to try and remove them and make this thing neutral colored. Unless, and in this case, make it white. There we go there. So there you go. Uh, I, on, off, on, off. Now, it can be useful. So let's try this. I'm going to undo it. So reset it. So Command R or Control R. And I'm going to do it to this shirt. You're like, the shirt's white. Let's click on this. Can you see you get a very big, big, you know, a different result. You can see it's bumped up the temperature quite a bit. And the other thing to note, just out of hand, like that's where it started, okay? If I undo it, you see it gives you a nice little just visual reference. I'm gonna do it again, click it there. You can see how far it's jumped up from as shot to where it is now, because otherwise, yeah, yeah. It's just a little handy little measurement there. And it's done the tint, just a tiny little change in the tint, minus 10, okay, before, after. So you can use the eyedropper tool and it works sometimes great and sometimes not so great. Okay, depending on where you're clicking. If I click down on the shoe here, so I'm going to reset it. W is the white balance selector. Too many shortcuts, but just click on that. Okay, and go you. There we go. Nice. Now, choosing something that happens to be white in the image afterwards is useful. Uh, you can kind of force that to happen a little bit more scientifically. Uh, I was having to dig around there. I paused the video and I was trying to find something and I found this, uh, my gray card. So uh, let's bring in that. It's in your notes now. It's just called gray card. And I couldn't find a good image of it. This is all I could find. Okay, and go into detail view. You can see there often when you are like, you know, when you've got a proper photo shoot, it's in studio, you've got some time to set up. Okay, you can hold up one of these gray cards to do a test shot so that you can kind of like, you know, get your settings right. So you can say actually here, you can either do it in the camera, that'd be optimal. Okay, with your camera, set your white balance based on this card here. Often people will use that kind of 18% gray there or white. Actually, that's the 18% gray there. That's just a really, white is tricky because it's kind of like a, can be quite a blown out color. So often they'll use this gray. It's still neutral, still has no color in it, but it's a good way of kind of a nice big easy thing to go, there you go. You can see here, in this particular shot, okay, it's lower the temperature a little bit and the tint a little bit, okay, but it's a lot more uh, scientific is the word, probably not the word, but at least you can get consistency across different shoots, maybe different rooms, different venues, different lighting conditions, okay, so before, after. Not the greatest shot I know. Actually, let me Google something right there. There you go. So you can buy these cards here. Okay, and you buy them, hold them up, and it's just easy to get the white balance. Better to do it with the camera first, but you can do it afterwards in Lightroom as well using the eyedropper tool. All right, one last thing I'd like to mention is that when I'm working, I'm kind of like, uh, what should I, you know, how do I get started? Often it's light, then color, unless the temperature is off. So the temperature, if it looks off, if I'm like, there's something just obviously wrong with it, I'll go and do the white balance first, okay, which is the temperature and the tint, then close that down and come back through my light and exposure. So I'll do a, a speedy version of my uh, light settings here. All 
All right, you're back. That's where I've ended up. Uh, so yeah, white balance first. If it's off, then start working through this. If white balance isn't off, I'll just start straight at the top here in exposure when I'm doing just kind of regular edits. Now for you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit G and you've got two other options here, okay, that have got quite strong color casts. Okay, this one's quite uh, red, magenta, this one's quite green. What I want you to do is practice with both of these, okay, and I want you to have a work through the white balance tool. Okay, the eyedropper, pick a spot, nice white dresses to use, but then use it as a starting point and maybe make some adjustments on top of that, don't be afraid. You can also see there's lots of different kind of colors going on in here, so have a play around with different parts of the white dress. And the same with arrow left, left, this one here as well. Pick a white from the dress and see how you get on with the white balance. Also for practice, have a play around with the light as well. All right, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, it helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on. Like and subscribe.